non-disabled people perhaps are rather disgusted by the notion that uh, uh, those of us who have a physical or sensory impairment might want to uh, indulge ourselves in, in, um, in intimate relationships. And the other side of it, I think, is the idea that, um, uh, that disabled people uh, may recreate themselves by being sexually active. I love children, I always have done, and um, yeah, I just think the time's right. I know that I'm a strong person, I know my child will be open minded, that's for sure, and I know I've got a lot of support. The Independent Living Centre in Warrington aims to supply everything needed to live an independent life. This is the only centre in England that includes sexuality as a need. In the early 1990s, I was very, very fortunate to be invited to do a European uh, working party around disability. And we happened to fall upon a place called uh, the Centre for Independent Living in Aarhus in northern Jutland in Denmark. And it was a one-stop shop for information for disabled people. And as the doctors and nurses and physios were all looking at the latest ergonomic chairs and beds, I found a cupboard full of dildos and vibrators and uh, it was just unreal. We used to come back and do a small report and look at what projects we could replicate from what we saw. And it was interesting because the first report I did on sex and disability and suggested we have a project in Warrington. Uh, I had occupational therapists and doctors saying this is not needed, there's no issues, uh, you know, so this is something that you should leave alone, Dave, you're, you're not a healthcare professional. My job basically involves um, working with young people to teach them about disability awareness and working with like the primary care trust and Leonard Cheshire Disability. Leonard Cheshire have started kind of seeing like a gap in um, young, pe young disabled people being taught about sex and relationships and how I'm getting involved in that is I, I'm also with the going out to schools and colleges also teaching other young people about sex and disability.